Hello everyone, this is your Elf Shay. I am going to show you how to log into my English lab through the Pearson website. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have two windows open. The first is Schoology, where you can find your access codes here. And you also want to open My English Lab. Okay, and the website is www.pearsonelt.com backslash myenglishlab.html. Okay, so as long as you have these two windows open, you'll be able to complete this process. Now, you may or may not have already registered. If you have not registered, you'll go to pearsonelt.com backslash myenglishlab, and you'll go to this part here where it says educator registration. You go ahead and click on that, and you'll need two things to complete this process. You'll need a valid email address, and you'll need an access code. So where can you find the access code? Right on Schoology, where Patti has put all of the access codes for you. The first being English is for those of you that teach kids, and Top Notch is for those of you that are working with adolescents and adults. So when they ask for an access code, this is the access code here. It starts with EE, -E, right? And then also the second one here, EE, -E, all right? So in order to start this process, you need your email address and the access code. And once you have those two things, you can just go ahead and click here, got everything, register now, okay? If you have already done this, great. I'm going to talk about the next part. If you have not done this and you need help, please get in touch with me or read the document that I have created about this process. All right? But this video is going to assume that you have already registered. So here we are on the Pearson website, my English lab. Here I am, El Shea. All right, so I'm already ready with my allowed on information. So I'm going to hit sign in. Okay, so now I am already registered. Here I am. And you see my courses here on the left. So ignore those for right now because I'm going to show you how to add courses and add access codes. So assuming you don't have any courses right now on your English lab, I want you to go to settings and go to course management. Okay. Now you notice that down here I have some courses. That was a fake one that I created. I'll show you how to do that as well. But for now, I'm going to show you just how to add the access code. And I'm going to show you how to do that by clicking Add Product. And then you're prompted with the screen that says Enter Access Code. When you want to enter your access code, you go back to Schoology and you find two different access codes. So remember, the first one that's here, Big English, is for those of you teaching kids. So let's assume that we're teaching kids. We're going to go ahead and control copy that. And we're going to paste our access code right here where it tells us to. And hit OK. Now, I have already added these access codes. So it says here, product already added. That means that I already have it. You might have this box if you already have the product. But you probably don't. So let's do another one. We're going to go back to Schoology. And we're going to select our other access code, which is for adolescents and adults, top notch. And we're going to click it, and we're going to put it right there in our access code box. Hit OK. Now, I've already done this too, so it might tell me, OK, you've done this already. But let's see. Ah, look at that. Access to the product has been granted. So this is what you should be seeing if you have done the process, as I've told you, and you will now have access to that product. So, hit OK. Where can we find that product? Well, let's go home, click the little house, and on the left-hand side, you'll see courses, okay? Now, if you hit View All Courses, then you should be able to see all of them here, starting with Big English and all the way up to Top Notch 3. Okay. I have access to all of them. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't need access to all of them, and that's okay. So as a reminder, you're getting the access codes from the Schoology page. On the main discussion page, Patricia has gone and listed what the access codes are. 
So if you are teaching just kids, you're going to need just this access code starting here, E E S E V G, la la la. Okay. And if you're just working with adults or adolescents, you're going to need the second code here, E E S M K P, la la la. So I hope that this has been helpful for you. If it is not, you can listen to it again. You can find me, send me a WhatsApp message. I'm happy to help. Please also refer to the document that I have created on the topic. And thanks for listening.